Good day and God bless. Let us come together in prayer. Lord, as we come together, we're we're in a lot of different places. Maybe we're sitting in the parking lot and our phones. Maybe we're at our workstation. Maybe we're sitting at home. And Lord, maybe we're out in the garden. But Lord, wherever we are, there you are also. As we are gathered together, Lord, bind us by your Holy Spirit. That as we draw close to your word, we will see not only our own ideas and the stories that are treasures to us, but Lord, that we might indeed see your word and counter its truth and be guided into the life that it calls us to lead and to inspire in others. Lord, we thank you for those who inspire in us your truth. Inspire in us the, the work to be done, the service to be given, the praise to be shown. And Lord, we pray for those who we will encounter, who we are meant to inspire, or those who may be about very different things in life, those whom we may not regard with the highest regard. Lord, teach us patience and kindness and forgiveness that we might offer the same grace we've been given as we seek to serve and celebrate you in Christ. This in his name we pray. Amen. So we turn to the book of Joel. Joel chapter 3. And I'm reading at verse 11. And the call is this. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. It is a call to reckoning. It is a call to recognize who we are and wherein we stand. Too often we gather, especially as we gather as church, we gather as those who see themselves as righteous. We gather as those who see themselves as in a place of judgment over others. Too often we look at the, the way of building the church as trying to make people like us. Instead of together continuing our journey to try to be like Christ. So the call is this. Rather than issuing the call to the world saying, Come those who would be righteous like us. Come ye heathen, as we are. Come ye sinners. Come ye who are willing to still receive grace. Who know that they still need it. We don't have it all figured out. But God calls us into fellowship to receive the grace, to give the grace, to acknowledge it, to offer praise in response to it. And may God bless us all in that journey together as we welcome one another, as we are welcomed in Christ. God bless and keep you all. Amen.